Good. Mm. You're gonna hold it. Mm. Hi, this is Mike. Hi, this is Nami. And welcome to Mike. And Nami Plus. Hey, we did it on the first shot. Yep. Okay, so this is gonna be unedited, straight through. Uh, <coughs> eight minutes. I'm gonna overlay this on a video. Hopefully, Michael's cough is not as bad as the birth vlog. Yeah, I don't want to explode your ears Maybe while I'm you coughing. you should go grab some water. <laughs> no. <coughs> Gosh, go grab some, or have a lozenge or something. Oh no, it's okay. So, have a whole question for you. Okay. What would you like to talk about today? I don't know. I guess, I guess it's it would be interesting to talk about how the third baby is different than the first and second. Okay. Like we both noticed that. We didn't really experience having any impatience towards mm -hmm. her, which is really interesting because for Galahad and Zeke, like when they would cry, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, again, or like, right, right. what is it this time? Right. Or like, like you have that kind of selfish, you still have that selfish kind of predispositional mentality. Right. And you're being stretched a lot. You're not used to you it. You are getting stretched a lot. You're not used to sleeping four hours a day and being yeah. woken up every 30 minutes to an yeah. hour and you're not used to breastfeeding and going through that pain and yeah the it's bodily, a change of life and pain. pace yeah and you're not used to the signs that yes. the the baby is giving you for a different exactly needs yeah but this time you realize that you know it is a newborn it doesn't matter how many times a newborn cries or is irritated or gets sick or in or fact whatnot. i feel it's like just it's cute. Like, I, I kind of yeah. like when she cries. I'm like, yes. oh, what do you need this time? So I experienced no It's not like, hint. what do you need this time? It's like, yep. oh, Same. what is it? Exactly. Me and too. So I see cute. it that way. Yeah, right? I see it that way. It's <laughs> so just very adorable. Very amazing. I'm very, uh, I don't know how to put it into words right now. It's just full. I, I'm just very blessed. I'm yeah, thankful. Yeah, I feel really blessed too. Yes. Yes. And it's kind of funny how... Like, I remember you said, with the first, it's like, okay, how do you survive? And then with the second, it's like, okay, when is this going to be over? Like, another three years. And mm -hmm. then now it's just like, this third Joy. time, it's like, like, I don't want the time to pass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, even the fact that, like, in a week, she'll look so different, and she'll grow so much bigger than she is yeah. now. In a month, I'm like, no, yeah. I want her to stay puny forever. Yeah. And our three... All our kids are exactly or close to about three years apart. Three I think years apart, yeah. For the first child, it is something that it's new. You're not, you don't know how to raise a child, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not something that you're used to. It's challenging and difficult. Yeah. With the second, you have one that's a bit older, and they're the older one's needs are more emotional and social, whereas the younger right. one, it's more purely physical. Yep. So and you're so it becomes both. difficult going back and forth between the two. Yeah. <clears throat> They do say sometimes having twins are even easier because mm. the needs are always the same at the same time. Right. But if you have two children with different needs at different yeah. at the same time, then it makes it harder than having twins where you can do the same mm -hmm. need at the same time. And then later on, they can play with each other. Right. And I find out with three, what I hear from other parents is that it's just it's just uh, another addition to the difficulty, I guess. Yeah, the guess two so. older kids. And maybe one of you them is the in the program, and the yeah. two of them, their their needs are more similar. They can play with each other too. And when you have two. three, you only have two hands, so you have to put one yes, down. Yes, and we get outnumbered. Yeah. So it gets pretty difficult. Yeah, but I find that so far it's been pretty good. She's been such a blessing mm, because me too. she's been very clear. She's a, a, like an in between between Galahad and Zeke. Yeah. She has Her the calmness, like the calmness of Galahad, but the clear clarity. The of clarity Zeke. of Zeke, yeah. Because Zeke cried a lot. But he was just angry, mm. and he he was frustrated because yes. he wasn't eating well. Yeah, because he wasn't latching well. He wasn't nursing well. But but he would be clear. Like it, he was like, clear. If anything was uncomfortable, burping or pooing or hungry, he would, he would just cry. Yeah, he would cry. And so uh, this the, our third child does that as well. But then once she gets what she needs, she gets what she, she's just calm. She's just calm. Yeah. yeah. So in that sense, it's been quite a blessing. Yeah, and. And people have been asking, like, oh, are the boys um, jealous at all so far? Right, right. But we've seen no signs of jealousy. Mm -hmm. And no. um, it's just been such a blessing, I think, for them, too. Mm -hmm. They really love her. Like, yeah, they come yeah. and see her. They come and, like, touch her hand. Yes. And they're like, oh, she's so small. She's yes, so cute. Yes, yes, exactly. And I don't think, at least for me, I won't have an issue of favoritism at all. Or I don't think they yeah. will go through any kind of jealousy. I think it really depends on how we approach 
right. and communicate with them as well. Right. Like if we were nagging them or scolding them in a way that's demeaning mm-hmm. or derogatory towards yep. them um, and favoring her, then that would be different. But if, And you can explain you, everything. Yeah, if you reason with them and yes. explain it objectively, then there's no space for hard feelings exactly. or resentment. Exactly, and children, even as young as like four or five, are, you can reason with them. You can explain. Mm-hmm. They Systematically, understand. they'll understand. G- yeah. You give reasons for what you're doing and why you're, why you're doing or why you can't right. do Right, if something. you just say like, yeah. be quiet, then like, that's yes, not that's helping. Not good. Yes, you have to you explain have to say it. Like, you can't say that. Oh, your sister's sleeping right now. Right. Like, we have to be quiet because... She's going to wake up and it's going to be hard for her. Yes. And then it would be difficult. I didn't have to prepare this and I'll take away time from this and that. But, you know, this morning, Zeke, he woke up around 7 a.m. and I was holding uh, the baby. Uh I was holding her. And I can't say her name because we didn't reveal her name yet. Uh But I was holding her and then Zeke really wanted that Anna. He he wanted to be helped. helped. But I was holding Mm -hmm. her, right? Right. So Zeke wanted it so bad. Like I put her, her in one, my left arm. And then Zeke is heavy, right? He's like over 30 pounds. Yeah. He And I was tired too. It was at 7 a.m. in the morning and we didn't get really so good sleep. So you're holding both of them? He kind of just hung on my leg and one arm. And he took my hand. Wait, he hung on your leg and arm? Well, I was sitting down, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So he really wanted just that skin-to-skin kind so of So he was kind of clinging onto yes. your lap yeah. while on your shoulder. Yes. and But he was, he was facing me. He was like right. fa- chest down on me. Right. He's like a koala. <laughs> yes, a koala. And then... Uh, he wanted. He took my right arm, and he took my palm, my hand, and uh-huh. placed it on his back. Like he just wanted me to hold him. To yeah, to hold yeah. him. And that was funny. He needs that oh, in the morning. That's so Every cute. morning when he wakes up because he's cranky, he needs that like ten minutes of just holding physical, time. physical affection. Yeah. And, and he's like that, right? Skin, skin to skin. Yes, and I think I, I need to give him that because I can't expect him. Okay, all of a sudden one day later you're, you have a sister born, and now you can't. The have funny this anymore. thing is, I'm <clears> like that too. So it might be like a. A disposition that we have, that yeah. need the that physical we have, need. the physical need yes. that we have to feel yes, love, comfort, love, and, love. and security. Mm. It's physical touch. Sometimes I just need to like have one toe touching your one toe. Yes, and I'm not good I at go that. Like for me, I don't need that. I don't like that. I don't like body heat. I like yeah. You like space. I just like space. Yeah. Let's see how much time we have left. We it's seven. Okay, we have about thirty seconds to wrap up. Okay. I don't know. It's been such a blessing. And yes. and I feel like Nacho Femme has been such a blessing too. Yes, thank you. Everyone has been pouring out and overflowing with encouragements, congratulations, prayer, you know, monetary prayer, support, um, yeah. gifts from the registry. Yes, and it's been such an amazing time of just being showered with. Yes, with yes. Thank you for sharing this moment of us and going through this training yeah. with us. Oh, your stomach just scrambled. <laughs> Are stomach. you hungry? No, I think I'm digesting my food. Okay, it's eight minutes now. Thank you for listening in. Yeah, this was chiming fun. Chiming in on this, yeah. Thanks for preparing this, Michael. Okay, see you later. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> That's not how we should end. Oh, how do we end then? Okay. So, uh, thanks for... Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>